Introduction Rita has bought pencils for 15 rupees, colors for 25 rupees and pastel sheets for 12 rupees. The shopkeeper asks her to pay 52 rupees. Rita wants to verify, but there is a problem. She cannot do it without writing the numbers down on paper. She cannot perform mental calculations. You just saw how important mental arithmetic is. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Perform mental addition Perform mental subtraction Mental addition How can we add 8 and 5 mentally? Simple! We count ahead of 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 is the answer. But what if we want to add 14 and 16? This technique will not work. Mental addition of large numbers. Let us use a different technique for mental addition of two large numbers. In this technique, we break the number into tens and ones and then add. Write 14 plus 16 as 10 plus 4 plus 10 plus 6. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. We now have three tens. Add them. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30. 14 plus 16 is equal to 30. Example. A sack contains 13 kilograms of potatoes. Another sack contains 15 kilograms of potatoes. How many kilograms of potatoes are there in all? To find the total quantity of potatoes, we must add 13 kgs and 15 kgs. Break the numbers into tens and ones. Write 13 plus 15 as 10 plus 3 plus 10 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. 20 plus 8 is equal to 28. 28 is the answer. Self-assessment. Add the given numbers mentally and drag and drop the correct sums in the boxes. Mental addition of three numbers. Let us now learn to add three numbers mentally. To add three numbers, we add two numbers first and then the third. We make sure that the two numbers that we add first make ten or a number that ends with zero. It speeds up our addition. What is 4 plus 7 plus 6? We add 4 and 6 first because 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Now we add 7 to the 10. 10 plus 7 is equal to 17. 17 is the answer. Example Sumit did 12 questions of mental addition on Sunday, 9 on Monday, and 8 on Tuesday. What is the total number of questions done by Sumit in 3 days? To find the questions done by Sumit, we must add 12, 9, and 8. 12 plus 8 is equal to 20. 20 plus 9 is equal to 29. Sumit did 29 questions in 3 days. Mental subtraction. Similar to addition, we can do mental subtraction also. In addition, 
We are given two numbers and we have to find their sum. But in subtraction, we are given the sum and we have to find one of the calendar. The ones place of 60 is 0. And ones place of one of number is 3. So we have to find that what should be added to 3 to make it 10. 7 is to be added to 3 to make some 10. Thus, one's place of second number is 7. Ten's place of sum is 6. We already have 2 as ten's place of one of the number. 1 is to be added as carryover. What should be added to 3 to get the sum 6? The answer is 3. The tens place of numbers is 3. The subtraction 60 minus 23 has the answer 37. Easier technique of mental subtraction. Let us look at an easier technique of mental subtraction. To subtract 32 from 61, first subtract 30 from 61. The answer is 31. Now subtract 2 from 31 using reverse counting. 30, 29, 29 is the correct answer. Example, Rina's father bought her 72 pencils. She used up 36. How many are left? To find how many pencils are left, we must subtract 36 from 72. First subtract 30 from 72. The answer is 42. Now subtract 6 from 42 using reverse counting. 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36. 36 is the answer. Self-assessment. Subtract the given numbers mentally. And drag and drop the correct differences in the boxes. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. We add two numbers mentally by breaking them down into tens and ones. We add three numbers mentally by first grouping two numbers whose sum ends with zero. Then we add the third number. We subtract mentally by first subtracting a number that ends with 0. Then we subtract the leftover value through reverse counting.